eggplant fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Jacqueline this is not my jungle it's my car and if you're not new here thank you for coming back I appreciate you so today I am pretty excited to finally take a trip all the way down to Paul's and Sandy's in East Hampton Connecticut we just have to stop and pick up my cat's prescription at the vet and then we're gonna head over to Paul's and Sandy's your girl needs some soil we're finally gonna do some much needed repotting in a different video but I will film that today for you as well I also just got a package in the mail like literally as I was walking out the door from FedEx and it's a box of bugs Woo! so Stay tuned for that. I actually don't even know what order you're gonna be seeing these videos in, but lots of exciting things going on today. So I am really pumped to go and see what is in stock at Paul's and Sandy's. And I don't know, we'll see where the day takes us. So let's go. <laughs> okay fam, so I just had to talk about this really quickly because how exciting. There's tray leaf products in Paul's and Sandy's. You guys know I've been working with them for years. Absolutely love their stuff. And if you're local and you wanna see it in person and snag it, you can do it here. So I think that's really awesome. I have literally all of these and I love them, especially these. I put my micans up on it, um, going over the door in case you missed that. You should check it out. All right, let's see what's going on in here these are really cute little baby uh, Diefenbachias I'm always attracted to these but I cannot have these in my home I do not trust my leaf nibbler these anthurium are really cute oh, these pots are really cute too I don't usually like gold but I like it when it's subtle that's cute um, and it's only 10 bucks so they always have cute pots for a good price here though I can't get that one out let's try this one 45 and it is the anthurium clarinervium pterodactyl hybrid the clarinervium gives it that nice heart shape and the pterodactyl kind of changes the way it grows a little bit and the texture of the leaves really cool hybrid Some not philodendron. I think these are thematophyllum. They're still labeled as philodendron goldii, which is a lot easier to say, and people will know what you're talking about anyway, so it's not that serious. $12.99. It's the newest leaf out. It's really cute. <laughs> it's a little baby one. What happened? <laughs> There's little jewel orchids over here. I love these. Really pretty leaves. $12.99. Lots of really nice orchids. I went through like an orchid phase and then I think I killed most of them, so that was sad. <laughs> Some little china doll plants over here. And then behind me, we skipped over some ivy. Nothing really exciting about the ivy. I mean, the variegated one over here is nice. But yeah, not my favorite plant. It's cute, it's just really annoying. And then some oxalis down here. These are really adorable, the Syngonium erythrophyllum. They have these gorgeous maroon backs to the leaves and this almost black tops to the leaves because it's such a dark green, it almost looks black. One of my personal favorites when it comes to Syngonium. Um, a little bit easier to care for too because the leaves are a bit more waxy than others that are a little bit thinner. Like this one. Some geogenanthus, got some Galathea orbifolia, another type of geogenanthus. 
over here with the really cool purple veining. Some um, Aglianima, that's an Aglianima. Maranta. Oh, there's some more Marantas up here too. $13.99 for this little red Maranta. And my favorite, the lemon lime for the same price. Very cute. Um, I think they're a little bit easier too than Calathea, but that's just my personal opinion. This is adorable. Love this. Really, really cute. It makes me want to like do that actually, but that's fine. <laughs> actually, some of these would do really well inside Willow's terrarium. I just don't want to put dirt in there. But it does stay nice and warm and humid in there, so maybe I could actually keep some ferns alive inside of my snake's enclosure. Some nice aglionema down here. And then um, staghorn fern. This one's called elephant, which is interesting. $26.99. Kind of weird, not going to lie but I think I'm into it. Okay, um, oh, there's some spices and stuff that I'm definitely gonna come back and look at. Then we have these really gorgeous staghorn ferns hanging over here in these cute little boxes. Our ficus section here, we only have one little baby. Shivery on the left. So sad. $36.99, one of the best prices I have seen for this, for sure. We're on the lookout for a nice little Syndapsis Exotica. Ficus Triangularis, really cute. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Um, oh, this little ruby is adorable, isn't it? It's only six dollars. I don't need it, but it's really cute. You guys know I love a good ficus. Um, ooh, look at this philodendron. It's the philodendron bromarks. And then these really nice platinum mist peace lilies. They're still here, they're really gorgeous. And they're forty dollars each. There's some variegated ones hiding over here as well. Okay, and then, ooh, whoa, look at this plant, you guys. Do you see this? This is stunning. This is such a gorgeous elbow. Look at how white it is. Oh, wow. 400. It's absolutely beautiful. So much white on these leaves. Insane. And then there are some little baby, I don't know, white princess or wizard? Princess. I think this is princess for $40. Because it's got that little tint of pink on the little petioles or the sheaths. Sheath. Sheaths. I don't know, but they're cute. Oh yeah, white princess. Look at me knowing how to identify them and everything. Some Tycons for 100. Very, very cute. Always very tempting. Look at those baby leaves. Aren't they so cute? Adorable. Okay, let's see. I skipped over like the string of things. There's hearts and pearls and all of that jazz. This Ripsalis is really cool too. It looks like a wacky hair day hard to tell when it's backlit. And then over here we have this massive begonia. A lot of this stuff was here last time, but I'm gonna show you really quickly anyway. This variegated whale fin, this is the yellow one for 70 bucks. Not a bad price on that. I had the white ones in my shop for quite some time and they're absolutely gorgeous. And uh, to be honest, I sold a lot of them for that same price too, so. Really cute. 
lots and lots of snake plants over there. And then here's the syndapsis that I was looking for. We have to find a cute one for my friend's mom. I think that one's pretty cute actually that I just picked up. Yeah, I like this one. So we're gonna snag that. And these pots, look at these pots, you guys. If you didn't see them last time, they're so stinking cute. And Ripsalis looks perfect in there. It looks like a crazy hairdo. Some more begonias down here. These are pretty, I think I had one of these at one point. I don't know what it's called, but um, it's an, uh, an angel wing begonia, I'm pretty sure, a cane begonia, so it's a little bit easier. Ooh, this one's pretty, ooh. What? It's like hairy, do you see it? <gasps> what are you? $12.99 for begonia listada? I don't know, but wouldn't that look amazing in a terrarium? Ooh, ooh you're so pretty. That is really pretty, you guys. I'm very tempted by that. Look at these leaves. They're like thick and hairy. They're freaking hairy. That is so weird. It's only $12.99. David's gonna be like, why the hell did you buy another begonia? I don't know, I don't know. Was that on my list of things I said I wasn't gonna buy this year? These are stinking adorable. $12.99, that is so cute. This is cute too. Different take on a propagation wooden stand. It looks like a little house. That is really cute. Oh my gosh. I can't handle it. Little fox. They have the cutest pots. There's a lot of um, cute little bee inspired ones over here. Be happy. And these are these chickens. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. David would love that. Look at it. Look at it. That is so fantastic. I might have to get one to put in a plant. <laughs> really cute. Okay, let's see what's hanging out over here. The usual stuff that Karen has. Her elbow that looks a lot like mine and I wonder if my cutting might have come from that plant, but who knows? This is a lot of her collection that are not for sale. Alocasia Frydeck, Philodendron Mayoi, and a really massive pink princess. This is the Philodendron Campo Sportuanum. You have an immature leaf right here and a mature leaf here, so you can see the difference. I actually kind of prefer them when they're more like that. If you can see, I don't know, I'm about to drop my phone. So, very cute. Um, all of the stuff you could possibly need for your plants. We're gonna snag one of these syndapses. There's some peperomias here, more albos. Absolutely love these. I think the one over there is definitely the nicest though. Okay, we've got some Hoyas hanging here. Really nice hanging basket that's very tempting of variegated Wayetii. Kinda wanted a bigger one, but I need more Hoya to hang in a window that can handle bright light. And this is definitely one of them. So there's that, and there's more than one. So I feel like I don't need to get it right now, but that's what I said about the last one, and then somebody bought it literally right before I was about to come and buy it. This is the Hoya Lacanosa um, Royal Flush. Really cute silvery leaves on this one. It looks a lot better than mine. Mine is for sure um, on its way out. I tried to salvage what I could on it, but it was it just wasn't really, wasn't doing it. Wasn't having it, so tons of princess and the usual some wayetii some macrophylla some polyneura nothing um new not yet anyway but you guys it is spring and i'm very excited to see what is gonna be in stock 
as things warm up. So some decursiva raffidophoras hanging out over here for $8.99. That is a great price for these. I saw these going for way too much for quite some time. Lemon lime. This is the decursiva when it gets more mature. Fenestrated. Beautiful. Oh, this one's nice. Epipremnum. Um, Panatum elbow in a hanging basket. That's new. Never seen, never seen it sold in a hanging basket. But I mean, it's a pothos, so it should be sold in a hanging basket with other pothos. But up a pole, these get absolutely stunning. Super fenestrated. I mean, this one's <laughs> trailing and it's fenestrating. So maybe it doesn't matter as much, but absolutely gorgeous plant $70 for these there's a few of them if you've been looking for one so some summer glories hanging out here for 25 here's the campo again you could see these mature leaves get these cute lobes on them and they get really nice and chonky rounded out I kind of like them when they're like this and they have that more burgundy color to them but that's just me some silver swords and lots of Brazil and heartleaf um, philodendrons, some erubescens over here, everything you would expect to see. Some Adansonii for 30 bucks over here. And then there's still some painted ladies behind me for $40 not a bad price on those and there's a whole bunch of them i think the variegation on these is super underrated it's really pretty just subtle yellow flecking in the leaves calanchoe fuzzy <laughs> some goldfish plants over here these are really cute these are like the darker leafed ones 16.99 Nice glossy leaves on that. Some Cebu Blue for 42. That's not a bad price at all. No, I wasn't trying to rhyme. <laughs> These are cute. So there's a bunch of those. Some Manjula, Marble Queen, all of the pothos that you could ever want. And then we have the philodendron mame, I think is how you say it, for 25 over here. Really nice silvery leaves on this one. I don't have this one. I'm not crazy for a heart leaf, like a heart-shaped one. I'm very picky about it, but it is very cute. These pots are adorable. Oh my goodness, look at it. Oh. That is so cute. And then there's some little turtles and elephants. Tons of Jersina money trees. We've got some spider plants hanging out up here. These shelves are cool. Just like wooden hanging shelves. And that's really it. There's succulents over here. I'm gonna go inside and get the soil and everything that I need to get. And then um, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Oh, this little lonely oxalis. I feel bad for it. It's only $3. Cute. Super cute. Okay, that's it. This is also the soil that I've been raving about, you guys. Soul Soils, I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. I also have a 10% coupon for you to use. I love their Chunky Perlite. They've got Lekka, they've got Pumice, and they've got your Chunky Mix already mixed up for you. You guys are always asking me what I pot my plants into, and I always almost say <laughs> a Chunky Soil Mix. So if you've been wanting to try something out highly recommend soul soils for sure you have a nice gritty one too here for your cactus <laughs> all my favorite products 
I don't know what this is though. Perky plant, organic plant food. Okay. Okay fam, so that was Paul's and Sandy's. I picked up two bags of dirt, a bag of regular regular perlite, and a little synapsis splash for a friend of mine, and that's really it. I always enjoy coming here. It was really nice. I actually ran into two people who watched my channel all at the same time, which was really, really cute and really sweet. So Hi Michael, it was nice to see you and meet you. Molly, it was amazing talking to you and talking about your dad. Hi Ralph, if you're watching. <laughs> Hi again. Um, Y'all are just really cute. So um, yeah, there's that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna wait for there to be um, some more stock and then we're gonna come back and film again. I always seem to come when She's already been pretty wiped out, but there was some cute stuff. I did not get that begonia, mostly because it needs high humidity, like I kind of anticipated, and um, your girl just like doesn't have time for that, so. Hold up, I'm cutting in. Before we finish this video, I actually had to run back inside because I forgot something, and while I was in there, Karen was like, hey, wait, you know, you should go over to the plant place because they're open today and it's not far from here and we haven't been there before. It's a cute little shop and long story short, we're going to go there and I'm going to show you guys how cute it is. I've never been there before, but it's not far from here apparently. So um, let's go to the plant place and then we're going to magically transport back to this point in the video and um I will leave you there because I already did my outro but I don't want it uh I don't want to do it again so um yes. okay I'm excited I'm excited good thing I brought snacks because I wasn't anticipating doing all this today so let's go to the plant place <laughs>
This is the most random plan shop I've ever seen, but it's super cute. Let's go check it out. Let's not startle this person working. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. I'm immediately overwhelmed as always as soon as I walk into a new place. There's so many cute plants and things to look at, you guys. I don't even know where to begin. These little crochet plants are adorable. I actually have a, a friend who makes these as well. Absolutely adorable. But of course, we're gonna look at the plants. We've got some Epipremnum Panatum hanging out over here. Some cute little baby Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight for 18 bucks. There's just like too many things for me to even look at. This is adorable. <laughs> me so thorny. That is so cute. But this caught my eye as soon as I walked in. Isn't that adorable? 45 for that. Really cute. Ooh. Variegated Maranta. This has been on my list for sure. I've been trying to find one at Home Depot, but no luck. I had one years ago and I, I killed it, but I'm way better at taking care of them now than I was before. Prince of Orange hanging out over here. We've got some Sis's Discolor. I've uh, killed plenty of those as well. Some Alocasia, Black Velvet. And then this one I think is the Longaloba. Yeah, this one gets literally quite long. The leaves are really cute. And we have a Peru hanging out over here. I don't see these a lot anymore. I don't know why I go through like stages of seeing tons of them and then not seeing many of them at all. Really cute pots going on up here, you guys. Thirsty AF. <laughs> I saw one over there that said pothead. That was really cute. Some nice hand-painted stuff going on here. And then we've got some curly girl cuttings from Karen over at Paul's and Sandy's. So, which is how I actually found out about this place. If you guys are going to Paul's and Sandy's, you should come on over to the plant place. It's only like 10 minutes down the road, really easy drive. This Syngonium Panda is so stinking cute. Hoya Rosita. I think this is Shepherdii or Wayetii. Whatever, they look similar. Um, some cute little Syngonium Tricolor hanging out over here. Philodendron Sodoroy. Really cute. She always has really nice, healthy plants as well. We've got some emerald green philodendron hanging out here. And some more Panatum. This is one of my favorite Hoyas, the Weyliniana. Really cute. There's two different varieties. This one's the more glossy variety, but they both get really nicely sun stressed. And then I'm not sure what this is. Oh, Trailing Jade. Cute. Very cute. We've got some Hoya Compacta. It's a good price for a cutting. I don't do well with those, so I don't really go crazy for them anymore, but they are really cute. We've got these little baby reverted Philodendron Florida Beauties. They're only $10. They're still really cute when they're green. And then there's a black band. Maranta, I literally just killed mine. Or no, this is silver band for 25. Whatever, they look similar. There's no black on this one though, Jackie. That's fine. I haven't eaten any food yet today, so don't judge me, okay? But um, I just, I don't know what happened to my black band. I think I forgot to water it. I think I thought I watered it and then realized as it went crispy the next day that I didn't water it. So there's that. But I got my silver band from, from Karen as well. Most of these plants that I have actually came from Karen's collection. So <laughs> she's got good 
stuff. These are adorable. Little crochet plant hangers, some owl pots hanging out over here. Add in Sony eye, some more of this Syngonium I was telling you about earlier that I really like with the dark leaves. And the burgundy undersides. This is cute. Everything is so cute in here, I don't know what to do with myself. Philodendron bipenifolium. Really nice shaped leaves on that one. Some staghorns. And this is the pot. <laughs> Pothead. I like it. It works. There's some cool pieces of art up here. And <laughs> these cute little plant tags. Some bark, some potting stuff. Ooh, some Burl Marks Fantasy. That's always nice to see. Really, really cute detailing on these leaves. I literally just chopped mine into nodes because it was growing stupid. Trubii Dark Form for 28, which is crazy to me because these used to be so expensive and so hard to find and I'm really glad that I didn't buy one when people were trying to sell little baby ones like this for like $100. What are you, Varicosum? Cute. I um, love the little fuzzy petioles on these. Somebody compared them to hairy legs and now I can't like unsee it. But <laughs> it's really funny. 42 for that one, that's a good price. For a nicely rooted plant. I didn't do well with mine. I think it needs like higher humidity, but I genuinely couldn't tell you. Vanilla orchid hanging out here for 16. That is another one that I struggle with and I don't know why I've tried it on multiple occasions. And it just kind of always goes downhill for me. So if you have any care tips on this, let me know because I like them. I had a variegated one. It was so cute. And I just, I can't seem to keep them happy no matter how hard I try. Here's this begonia again. It's taunting me now, you guys, because it's really cute and I like it, but I know realistically that I'm probably not gonna do well with it, so I shouldn't. So there's that. Cute little mandula hanging out over here. And there's just so much stuff. There's some stuff for your dogs hanging out here. There's dog treats, there's little doggy bandanas cute earrings over there like there's so much cute stuff in here you guys have to come and check it out if you're in the area we're technically is this colchester yes okay that's what i thought <laughs> really nice jewelry hanging out here i love i love when plant shops have lots of little knickknacky stuff and crystals these are really cute I've been shoving crystals into like all of my plants and I just love the way that it looks. Some cute little zodiac stickers. Absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Really cute, lots of earrings hanging out over here. Cute knickknacky stuff for your plant shelves. This is adorable. I love that. Cute little crocheted guys hanging out here. That's really cute. Lots of soap, everything you need to have a bubble bath hanging out over here. There's just too much cute stuff for me to wrap my, my head around. There's this really cute plant shelf here this is adorable, little Monstera holder here. These propagation jars are absolutely just too cute. I need a thesaurus, I'm really bad. Everything's cute and adorable. Some anthuriums here, we've got some silver dragon for 36. 
one of my personal favorites. Peperomia, this is the crocodile fern. Really, really cool texture on these leaves. Literally looks like a crocodile. Some angel wing begonia. And that is it for over there. This guy's cute. This propagation container is adorable as well. What did I miss? Oh my gosh, look at how big. What are you, Jose Buono? You're massive. Huge. A new leaf coming out back there. This elbow is absolutely gorgeous. Always a sucker for an elbow, you guys know that. And then on this wall, I'm gonna try really hard not to buy a bunch of soap because you guys know how much I love soap. It's actually a problem. And these candles are so cute. Oh my gosh, it's literally got bubble gum in it. Very, very cute. There's a few more plants hanging out on the table over here. There's too much cute stuff to show you guys. You're gonna have to come and check it out yourself if you're in the area. Definitely worth it. Plus now we have somewhere else to go and not just Paul's and Sandy's. It's cute philodendron, Florida. I think this is the ghost. Really, really cute. I actually just imported a bunch of those for you guys. So some pots over here. This is actually one of my favorites. I have this, love it, like the yellow. Always looking for some cute new pots. And there's some plants down here that we skipped over. Syngonium auridum. Not sure I've ever actually seen one of these in person, but I've seen them online a bunch. Little baby whale fin over there, and then you've got this philodendron, what are you? Mammy, if that's how you even say it. Yeah, really nice mature plant. Cute silvery leaves. So, there's that. I see um, a Pariso Verde hiding over here. So fun thing about this plant is their variegation actually depends a lot on temperature. So as it warms up, these leaves will get more variegated. So 50 bucks for that one is really nice. I would get, if I got this, I would chop it up <laughs> and propagate all these nodes and you would have a nice full bushy plant. So, um, yeah. I think that's it. Okay, you guys, cutest place ever. It's literally next to a freaking gas station. <laughs> We're in Colchester, Connecticut. It is only 10 minutes down the road from Falls and Sandy's. You have to come and check it out. They are so cute and I got some soap. <laughs> I'm really excited because I haven't gotten like some nice handmade soap in a while. Mm, and it smells good, but I am going to send you back to Jackie in the parking lot of Paul's and Sandy so that she can end this video for you. Okay, okay. That's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to go home, repot some stuff, release some mites like all over the place, which is going to be fun. And um, so stay tuned for that. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to shush because I'm like, I'm overstimulated right now. Can you tell? <laughs> Just like, I'm excited. I need to like fix my hair, eat some food, and um, do some plant chores today and put on some chapstick because this is pretty bad. But I love you, fam. If you enjoyed hanging out with me, you should give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself some perky perks. If not, there is a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. Cannot do this without you. And um, yeah, I love you. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.
Bye.